All right, five, four, three, two, one. Hi again. So we have just come from our stop about 30 meters up the trail in that direction. And now you'll look around and see that we are in a kind of a flooded area. So I'm just getting the camera to pan a little bit. Lots of wetland species. These little lollipop-like looking grasses are a member of Typha latifolia, or, or commonly known as cattail. And they uh, are very effective at growing when there is standing water with their roots inundated in water. They can actually create uh, buoyant tubers that will float as a floating mat on, uh, on water. So as you can see, we're in a sort of a wetland. Now, how does this wetland come into being? Uh, if you have a look, it wasn't always a wetland. There are some dead standing trees or snags. Those would have been growing here around the time that a disturbance flooding happened. How did it happen? Well, I'm looking around and I'm looking around for a house of an animal, a, a, a little North American animal with a flat tail. You can guess at what that is and at the process that happened, but certainly uh, over a decade ago, we had that little animal build its home and essentially engineer this landscape to suit its needs and thereby disturb the existing forest and create, again, a different kind of a landscape. So this is just another type of disturbance we find here. So we're going to continue then down this trail in that direction. And as you look at the horizon, you'll notice that there are some very, very tall uh, evergreen or conifer tree species. So let's go and see if we can identify them.